welcome back. We promised you an opportunity to connect with an incredible artist this morning, and that's right now. Born and raised in the Eastern Cape and now based in the mother city, Mandisi Mafu, who has been making a name for himself as Afro-electronic musical performer and uh, producer Digital Sangoma has a distinct and unmistakable sound that he has been able to establish because of his studies in music engineering and programming and just bucket loads of talent. And he is joining Expresso for the first time since 2017 as our performer for the morning. But before we get into catching up with this incredible human being, let's enjoy some of his 2021 single, Aluna Melo. Man, I'm surprised you didn't see one of us trail running behind you there, man. I know that path, I know that area so well. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up a warm express. So welcome to the Digital Sangoma. Oh. Brother, man, how are you doing? I'm very well, my brother. Thank you so much. It's so good to be here. Yeah, yeah man. It's good to have you back. Your energy is contagious because I'm feeling so relaxed. I'm feeling like I'm in my element, in my flow I'm trying state. to do your face, the face from the video where you just... Yeah, <laughs> literally, G and I were like feeling, we were saying, we feel like we we're going back to the Eastern Cape, just by listening yeah. to the sound, man. But let's kick it back to the start. Your name even, it just, it exudes something more than just the name, the Sangoma yeah. within you. Does it speak of the passion and what a Sangoma would do? Does your music heal like a Sangoma does? Tell me about the inspiration behind I the I think, name. Uh, you know, that was by chance, you know, that I came across the name. But, you know, as the years go, and obviously, you know, with my, um, with my background, growing up in Eastern Cape, mm. with all the traditional sangomas, you know, umguyu when the boys are going up the mountains, all those, those chants. And obviously, you know, um, growing up with that kind of music, that sort of like influenced uh, my direction as a musician and as a producer. And also, um, just to answer your question, if it heals or not, I think for me, you know, because I make music for myself, so whatever I'm going through, and, and that's, um, the sort of like messages to self, you know, and I've been lucky enough to to hear people telling me that, you know, a certain song has uh, has changed the way they feel, uh, the way they view life. And so in that sense, yeah, I think it does. You know? there, there is a beautiful deeper resonance. And i got to say, man, I know we've only spent all of five minutes together, but you <laughs> seem to be in a really good space at the moment. Like you seem really calm within yourself, which is saying a lot after the last year and a half that we've all been through, <laughs> especially on your side of the industry. It's been yeah. very very difficult yet you've committed to releasing music every kind of six to eight weeks you know the fans need it and I, I, I have a feeling like a lot of artists out there this has maybe been an opportunity to be creative and create possibly some of the best music of your career how are you feeling about the last year and a half and that creative journey that you've been on it's always a very difficult question to answer because, you know, it's been a very difficult year for, for most of us, the past two years. Yeah. But, you know, for me as a creative, I, you know, I sort of like find time to sort of like really connect with myself. And, and, um, and that way I was able to really express myself, you know, and, and create more music. And um, so it's been, um, it's been a funny time, but, but also it's been very good. In, in Is this your ways. best music that you're creating now? I, I, I'd like to think so. <laughs> I'd like to think so. I think so. No, listen, man. we had some uh, a group of individuals on the show earlier, uh, actually last week, um, Get Lucky's Entertainment Group yes. of Good Luck. Yes. And uh, we were absolutely entertained by some of the artists that were performing on the front. Now I believe that you actually have joined uh, the likes of Good Luck, well Get done, Lucky's man. Entertainment. So, yeah. what's that experience like? Obviously, now having a better and more opportunities to yeah. perform, express yourself, but also at some beautiful occasions. I'm I mean, we're talking about marriages, we're talking about beautiful moments for people, yeah. and you get to be a part of something, well, you get to create that moment for them and make it just that much more special. You, What's that feeling like, an opportunity? I mean, it's, it's such an honor for me because I've been a fan of Ben and, and Jules, good luck for, for many years, yeah. you know, and, and 
you know, one of the things that I used to do when I started producing music, I mean, when they started up, I used to stalk them on Facebook just to see them. <laughs> not, only, not only the music, but also how they navigate through the industry, yes. you know, as independent artists. So that really inspired me. And so to, to be considered one of them, you know, and, and to, to be part of the catalog or artists that they represent, it really means a lot, you know. And so I'm truly grateful for that. Be making grooms cry. That's what you yeah, do, man. I'm not uh, sure. <laughs> but, you know, I don't, I don't know if I'm a, I'm a wedding, <laughs> I'm a wedding <laughs> musician, but but you know, if opportunity comes, you know, if people oh, love what I do yeah. and they want to connect with me in that space, so. Oh, oh, I, what I love about what Good Luck are doing now is they've they've almost turned the lens inward and they're connecting with a network of artists that are all wanting the same thing, and that's a better yeah. better platform for all of you. And I think yeah. that that is so powerful. At the heart of what you do is create powerful, very emotional music, especially in that uh, electro space. Yeah. Amaweni is uh, going to be released officially on Heritage Day. Yes, on the 24th. Um, why that decision and what is the song all about? Um, the song is a, it's about a transitional phase in your life, you know, because we go through so much and then and then we get to a point where we, fall, we sort of like, um, you know, the pain. We like to sit in the pain. And yeah. we don't want to move to the next step. So it's about that transitional phase where you just have to open yourself up to new opportunities, whether you know you were disappointed by your peers or you can't find a job or you lost a loved ones, a loved one, you know. So yeah. so it's about just giving yourself a chance to move on to the new phase and just open your heart, opening your heart again. Wait, where did you get these learnings from, bro? Uh, where, where does this wisdom come from? You know, I, I can't really take credit for the music because it just happens to me. So I never really, I never really think, you know, because when I'm in the studio, I never go and say, okay, this is the song I want to create today. So it just, it just happens. Just it just happens. So I can't really say, I'm, I'm the best at what I do. It just, it's just because you're a you songorma, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are the digital songorma, brother. That's that's exactly so it. Really, you know, I don't know. Ah, oh, man. Well, I, I, however it comes to you, we are so happy that it does and that we get a chance to taste some of your new music yeah. today. I know I'm a weenie. One of the tracks you're going to be performing. Two others on the way. Buddy, thank you so much for joining us so bright and early and bringing your energy into our space. We love you, dude. Thank you. I appreciate being here. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, the Hill Comes Song is not going anywhere. We've got some performances coming up which you do not want to miss. And, of course, you can reach out to him and the rest of the incredible performers at the Get Lucky Entertainment where you can get this talent, this magic, all this energy at an incredible event of your choosing. But, of course, stick around because we're coming back with you soon.